SummerSlam is finally upon us. It's the biggest party of the summer, but who'll be celebrating after tonight is done? We are in Nashville, Tennessee, guys. Welcome back to the Summer Scrolling 90. It is the WWE 2K22 Raw GM mode. We've got a bit of an issue tonight, as I mentioned previously. We've got no Brock Lesnar. We've got no WWE champion. So there'll be no championship match tonight, which is an absolute joke. He has just been fetal from the show. Not a lot we can do about it, other than postpone Brock versus Orton for the next pay-per-view, which is four weeks away. So, yeah, I mean, it's not ideal, but like I said, there's literally nothing I could do. I, I didn't plan to have Becky Lynch defend her belt tonight. I, I was going to do a tag team match, but considering that we don't have a WWE Championship on the line, I feel like I need to defend this belt. So I had to change things up a wee bit. Not ideal at all, but... You know, we're just going to have to make the best of a bad situation. We are going to go into the free agency, though, and we are going to have a look at somebody. And I'm thinking Matt Riddle. Bro, I think we're going to take Matt Riddle. So, yeah, let's sign him up for 10 weeks. And that should add a little bit to the roster. And, um, is that us? Let's see, book show. What about Riddle? And... Actually, I think we'll have... I think we'll have Seth Rollins call it Matt Riddle. There you go, that can be a... I can be a feud going into the next pay per view, but here we go then. Uh, Lashley, Booker T, Austin Fury versus Goldberg, Damian Priest versus Randy Orton, and we've got main event TLC, Becky Lynch defending the championship against Sasha Banks. Now, in terms of power cards, I was looking to see if we have any that we could put onto this show. We don't really. Uh, we need to try and win this show. I mean, if you look at the ratings, it's been. It's going up and down every week, but the gaps pretty much stay in the same. But So we need to try and close it down. We're about 60,000 behind SmackDown. Hopefully we can have a better SummerSlam than they do. And we can, like I said, close that gap. So with all that said, guys, let's get into the show. This one's going to cost us 208 grand. I mean, it's a lot of money. It does add up, but I'm hoping that we can deliver and um, put on a good performance. So let's go. Bobby Lashley taking on Booker T. Can you dig it, sucker? Bobby Lashley, the almighty, taking on five-time, five-time WCW champion Booker T. Who's going to win this one? We don't know. But what we do know is, and Bobby Lashley, so far on Raw, as I'm not going to say he's looked unstoppable, but no one's came close to beating him. So, you know, he's been doing okay for himself. He's been on a roll. You cannot deny that Bobby Lashley, the almighty, has been on a path of destruction. And will his path continue tonight? We don't know. But I don't see Booker T, if I'm being completely honest, I don't see Booker T stopping this man tonight. I don't think anybody can stop this man. And it's, it might be only a matter of time before he finally gets his hands on a WWE Championship match. But... I guess if Brock Lesnar, if Brock Lesnar's not available to defend his belts, then how can anybody get a title shot? We don't know, but I mean, Bobby Lashley knows that a win over a legend like Booker T would put him in a great position. A loss, though, against part-timer Booker T, a loss against his prime Booker T, though surely that would set Bobby Lashley back, but we're going to see. And I don't think Bobby Lashley can dig that sucker, I don't think he can, but we'll see if Bobby Lashley tonight has what it takes to get the win, so... Bobby Lashley makes his way to the ring. Booker T then will be out next. Can you dig it, sucker? We're going to see. We're going to see. Here he is. Booker T, five-time WCW champion. Da -na 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 -na. There you go. Booker T, loving life. There's fire in the background, the flames. Booker T returning to SummerSlam for like the first time in what? 14 years? Aye. Like 14 years, long time away. But can Booker return with a big win? He's wasting no time here, getting done the ring as fast as he can. And there's Booker T then. In front of the fans, getting a big evasion. Definitely the fan favourite here tonight, Booker T. But we'll see if the fans can help him in this war, in this match against Bobby Lashley. It's Booker T. It's Bobby Lashley. It's the opening match 
of SummerSlam. The referee rings the bell, and here we go. Bobby Lashley working on the arm, Booker T though ain't having it. A big strike for Booker. Booker going for a sidewalk slam, and he takes to Bobby Lashley. So Booker T hitting the first offensive manoeuvre of this match. Working on the army, Bobby. That massive arm of Bobby Lashley. I mean, Bobby Lashley's an absolute machine, a physical specimen, a freak. Booker T sits out. Hits him with a big slam. But Bobby Lashley kicks out. Booker T jumps onto the back of Lashley. Booker T, he'll start it well. Now work off. A leg drop onto the le the arm of Bobby Lashley. So Booker T working the limbs here. And then drops the elbow down on Bobby Lashley. So Booker T. Let's not sleep on Booker T. He could be. He could be winning this thing tonight. Against all odds. But Lashley catches him in a Uranagi suplex straight to the cover. And just like that, Bobby Lashley can turn things around. And he only gets a two count. I think Lashley thought he was about to put Booker T away there. I mean, it might take a wee bit more than that to put the Booker man away. But Lashley now. Setting up for a suplex. Look how long he's got him standing in the air. Bobby Lashley is lifting up Booker T with ease. Now he's spinning around. What a suplex from Lashley, man. Holy shit. And Lashley. Oh, but Lashley just eats a big super kick for Booker T. Oh, and I don't think Bobby Lashley knows what happened there. Booker T almost defeating Lashley. But Lashley with a big counter. Irish whip, Lashley, sidewalk slam. And could Lashley be looking to put away Booker T here? No, Booker T with the counter. Lashley, though, hit a spear. He hit a spear out of nowhere. Booker T walked right into it. Oh, Booker T kicks out at two and a half. And Lashley, again, cannot believe this. I can't believe it. I thought we had him beat there. Lashley then got him on top. Gorilla press position, but Booker T fighting his way out. Goes behind. Shot to the back. Lashley spins around. Lashley out. It's Bobby Lashley. He's got Booker T. And a total slam position and just drops him on the mat. And now Lashley here could be taken over. Lashley punching the hip Booker T and could we be about to see the end here of the Booker man. Lashley setting him up for the heart lock perhaps if he can lock it in. He's got it in. Can Booker T escape? Booker T is trying to do his best. Booker T needs to get escape this and he's almost broken. He does. He breaks the lock. He breaks the grip and he's <laughs> arm drag. Takedown. Lashley out of the manoeuvre. Booker T's got him up and Booker T with a slam. Slams Lashley down on the mat. But oh, he went for the, sp sp the spin kick and Lashley again with another shot. And I don't know, that could maybe do it there. Booker T getting taken down once more. Lashley into the corner. Sends Booker T. Booker T though counters with a right. Booker T. Went over side slam on Bobby Lashley. And Booker T here looking for a way back into this. And Booker T now middle rope. <laughs> he went for a drop kick he missed. And he drops Bobby Lashley's neck across the top rope there. Booker T looking for a way back into this. Again though he's caught. And Lashley catches him and just slams him. Holy shit. Unreal there. The strength of Bobby Lashley. That was insane. And now Lashley looking for the Dominator. Oh, and he plants him straight into the cover. And I think Booker T's fight has just left his body. It does. Bobby Lashley picks up the win. I mean, it was a good effort from Booker T. But in the end, Bobby Lashley, too fast, too strong, too powerful. Too good. And Bobby Lashley wins the opening match here at SummerSlam. Massive win for the Almighty. 
And where does Bobby Lashley go from here? The question is, guys, who's next for Bobby Lashley? But speaking of who's next, Bill Goldberg's next. Bill Goldberg will be in the next match. But there you go, Lashley and Booker T completing their rivalry. Two and a half stars. Not great, but... I mean, it was. I guess it's okay. We do know that this show is going to suffer tonight. It's not a full-strength show. We're going to have to deal with it. Um, Seth Rollins calling out the newly signed Matt Riddle. Good promo. New rivalry. Went to level one. And here we go then. Austin Fury versus Bill freaking Goldberg. Can Austin Fury pull off the biggest upset? Not only of his career, but probably in the history of... A wrestling, if he, if he wins tonight, that's what I think he'll have. I think he'll have the biggest upset ever. But the question is, can he win tonight? Will he win tonight? And I think the answer to that question is a big, massive and resounding no. But we're about to find out. Here he comes, Austin Fury. Without his phone, without Mr McMahon, without anything. But we're going to see what he's got tonight. Will Austin Fury have enough to beat Bill Goldberg, or will Bill Goldberg reign supreme? Austin Fury probably doesn't even know how he's got on this card, to be fair. Turned up to SummerSlam tonight and probably expecting not to be competing. But due to injuries, due to Brock Lesnar not being available, it's opened up a few spots in the card in Austin Fury. Is taking advantage of that and he's got himself into this match. So, yeah, Austin Fury's been given a chance. Now he needs to take that chance. And will he take that chance? Will he take the chance against Goldberg? It's a small chance, but it's a chance nonetheless. Maybe he wishes that he wasn't on the show. Maybe he was happy not competing. He needs to get himself ready because here comes Bill Goldberg. Chant, you can hear the chants already. Goldberg. Goldberg. And here he comes. Police escort to the ring. Don't know why all fucking four policemen look the exact same, but it is what it is. Here they go. Fireworks are going off. The sparklers are going off. Try not to get burned. But I think it's Austin Fury who's going to get burned. Seriously though, see with those um those police officers, the security, I wonder why they didn't like, I don't know, change them up a wee bit. Like have one maybe a different colour just to make them look different or different haircut or something or I mean like they legit fucking all look the same. I mean it's like the same guy. Like they just copied the same guy four times, man. That's incredibly lazy. But speaking of lazy, is Goldberg willing to work a match tonight or are we gonna get a two minute Bill Goldberg special? Who knows? Here he comes though. The crowd seem pumped to see Goldberg, so fair enough. Definitely a fan favourite wherever he goes. Hated by the internet fans. But it's alright, because we all hate the internet fans. Goldberg then in the ring, looking chiselled. I mean, who looks better? Part-time Goldberg or full-time Kevin Owens? You tell me, guys. But here we go. Goldberg, Austin Fury, referee rings the bell, both men now meet in the middle, oh, Goldberg fucking almost kills him, oh, and he kills him again, Goldberg, what a massive kick there to the face of Austin Fury, and now he climbs on top and he's unleashing strikes upon Fury, and Fury not able to deal with these, Bill Goldberg here, what a start from Goldberg at this, uh, this pay-per-view match here, SummerSlam, Austin Fury, absolutely in a load of trouble. Goldberg's got him up then. <laughs> and just drops him with a big massive slam. Gorilla press slam. Holy shit, Goldberg. Austin Fury ducks underneath though and hits a back suplex. Austin Fury, tell you what, he needed something. And he is uh, he pulled that suplex right out the bag there. And that may have bought him a bit of time. But not much time because Goldberg's back up and Goldberg takes down Austin Fury. And, oh, Fury with a boot though. Fury trying to keep this one interesting. Hits a big standing moonsault. And now Fury heading towards the top rope. Fury, he's calling for Goldberg to get to his feet. Austin Fury then drops down, looks to come over to Goldberg. He's got him on his shoulders. 
Goldberg drops underneath and hits him with a chop lock. Onto the leg of Fury and Goldberg now looking to get back in control of this match. He started well, then Austin Fury did get back into it, but now Goldberg looking to stomp Austin Fury down, looking to eliminate Austin Fury. Off the ropes, looking for another big sidekick. He couldn't connect. Big elbow. A big clothesline for Bill. A flying shoulder tackle that didn't connect. Austin Fury, the shot to the back. Right hand to Bill Goldberg. And Goldberg takes down Fury there. And a chop block for Bill. Taking down the leg. There's Goldberg, he's got him in a sleeper, dragon suplex, front headlock, suplex from Bill Goldberg. Irish whip into the ropes, and a spear into the corner. Goldberg now trying to choke it, Fury, but Fury grabbing the leg of Bill Goldberg, he tosses him to the floor, and then drops a knee. Fury now lifting, dragging Goldberg to the, the but Goldberg exchanging chops, he probably on oh, another big super kick. Probably do not want to exchange chops with Bill Goldberg. And Goldberg now, he's gone by the throat. He's got him in that gorilla press position. Oh, and he just drops him with that um, spine buster like manoeuvre. Call it what you want. Goldberg absolutely destroys Austin Fury there with that manoeuvre. And it could be time for Austin Fury to go night night. Could be sleeping with the fishes. After Goldberg hits this Jack Hammer, boom! That's it, all over. Surely, Austin Fury is no kicking at that. Well, 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 well. I don't believe it. I don't think any of us believe it. <laughs> How the hell did Austin Fury kick out of a jackhammer? Oh, he went for. Oh, he went for the spear. Completely missed it. Fury though. No, oh, and he drops Goldberg on his head. Goes for a cover. And Goldberg powers out at one. Fury then. Just that did not really work for him. Fury drops him. Goldberg again. Ah, oh, Goldberg with a clothesline. Goes for a big boot. Fury ducks underneath. Goldberg again got Fury on top and drops him with a gut buster. And Goldberg again lifting Fury up. Oh, and Fury counters with a DDT. But Goldberg back to his feet again and Fury takes him to another clothesline, but Goldberg back again to his feet. Guess he cannot keep Bill Goldberg down, man. What the fuck is Bill Goldberg ate for his breakfast today? But whatever it is, Austin Fury just cannot keep Bill on the mat. Where's Goldberg going now? Middle rope. Clothesline up the top. Goldberg lifting him up. Fury counters. Reverse DDT by Austin Fury. Can that finally get him somewhere in this match? Hits a super kick and he's. he's Oh, he just planted Goldberg into the mat. Oh, and Goldberg kicks it at two and a half. Fury thought he had it. I thought he had it. But Bill somehow survives. Goldberg hangs on. Big strike for Goldberg. Goldberg now, top rope. He went for a double axe handle and he missed. Austin Fury's got Goldberg from behind. He's spinning him around. Oh, and he plants him. We spin out, spin out power bomb like maneuver. But Goldberg back on his feet. Goes for a clothesline. Austin Fury again. He's got this torture rack power bomb. But Goldberg again back to his feet. And he just knocks it out with a spear. Bill Goldberg and a massive clothesline. And Goldberg now, Austin Fury is all over the place. And Goldberg has got him in that front headlock, and we know what that means. It's going to hit him with a second jackhammer. Oh, this time I don't think Fury's kicking right. Plants him nowhere near the ropes. 
and Goldberg eventually puts Austin Theory away, but that was a lot harder than we imagined it would be. Goldberg actually having to work for that one. But in the end, he gets the win. He gets the victory. And Bill Goldberg leaves SummerSlam with the W. And good match there. Austin Theory pulled out all the stops. Tried to slow down Goldberg. Tried to defeat Goldberg. But in the end, just wasn't possible. And Goldberg picked up the big win. But in terms of match rating, disappointing. One and a half stars. Not great. And um, speaking of Goldberg, now we've got some more Joe calling out Goldberg. And the rivalry has went to level one. I think it was already at level one, to be honest. So not too sure what that's all about. Up next, we have Damien Priest. Versus Randy Orton. This was supposed to be Orton versus Brock Lesnar for the title. But like I said, Brock Lesnar not able to be on the show tonight. We had to make some changes. And uh, this was the best we could come up with, guys. So yeah, Randy Orton versus Damien Priest. Not exactly a match that would sell out SummerSlam. Not exactly the match I would want. Got into the pay-per-view. But like I said, we have to make the best of a bad situation. So Orton... So essentially here taking on Damien Priest in a warm up match before he gets his hands on Brock Lesnar that's the plan here that's what's going to happen there you go Damien Priest slapping the steel steps well, Randy Orton be getting slapped though. Damien Priest, meaning business. But will he get the business done? Or will Randy Orton reign supreme? I mean, Randy Orton is getting his title match regardless, but it won't be a good look here if he loses to Damian Priest before taking on Brock Lesnar. So Orton here, big night for Orton. We'll want to get the win, we'll want to get the victory over Damian Priest, and he wants want it to be a good victory. We want to make an impact. Make a statement. Show Brock Lesnar that when they do meet for that title, that, that title in Brock Lesnar's reign is in jeopardy, so... We'll see. We'll see if RKO's got what it takes to stop Damien Priest. We'll see in five weeks' time if he's got what it takes to stop Brock Lesnar. Randy Orton getting older and older every year, but still one of the top guys in the company. Still a main event player. But he's not in the main event tonight. He's having to settle for the third match of the card. And like I said, that is purely because his title match against Brock Lesnar got cancelled. Not Brock Lesnar's fault, not Orton's fault, nobody's fault. But that match will happen when we do get to the next pay-per-view. And it's all about building momentum from here to then. Damien Priest getting ready. Huge match for both people for different reasons. Orton... Needs to keep the momentum going. Damien Priest needs to get some momentum started. So here we go. Both men lock up. Didn't really lead to much. Again. Both men locking up. And no one really got the power advantage. But then Orton. With a couple of uppercuts. And Orton. Tosses him over the top rope. I mean tosses him over the top of his shoulders. With a T-bone suplex there. So Orton. After not being able to outpower Damien Priest. I guess he's outsmarted him. He's outstruck him. Damien Priest, Irish whip. And Damien Priest with a flying crossbody. Takes down Randy. Randy then back to his feet. Randy with strikes. Big strikes. Damien Priest with a strike of his own. Oh, he went for a springboard. And Orton pounces on top of him. With the loose fist press and pulls away with strikes. Getting on top of him. Going for more strikes. But Damien Priest rolls through. And Damien Priest here, firing away, punches up Randy Orton. 
And he's got Orton here. And I'm a submission manoeuvre, but Orton manages to get to the ropes. Big stomp there. Orton. Big clothesline. Knee to the back. And Orton now. Priest rolls out the way. It's a massive clothesline on Randy Orton. And that'll slow the Viper down. Big stomps as well. That, that helps. Big right hands. Damien Priest here unleashing the inner Damien inside him. Orton, no. Headbutt. A big strike from Randall. It's Orton Day and he's calling for Priest to get up here. A big chop, big drop kick from Orton. Orton now going to the top rope. Orton with a splash on David Priest. Orton takes down Priest and Orton now. Go to the top rope again. He just hit a splash. What's Orton going to hit this time? Calling for Priest to get up. Orton went for a double axe handle. Priest countered. And Priest with a tilt or slam on Randy. Almost slams Randy at his boots. Randy didn't see it coming. And Priest then springboard. Oh, he went for the springboard. Leg drop. He didn't connect. Orton countered. Orton moved it the way, a fade at the contact, Orton then, oh, gets dropped onto the top rope. Priest, again, tosses Orton over. Orton gets hung up there and falls to the outside. Guillotine-like um, drop there for Orton. His throat getting dropped on the top rope. Damien Priest now taking over. Damien Priest beginning to command this matchup, but Orton always dangerous. Orton gets thrown into the announce table, holding his knee. Maybe Orton's hurt there. Could there be an issue with Randy Orton's knee? I don't know. Oh, and he goes flying into the announce table again, and now it's Damien Priest with more big right hands. And I think he may have busted Orton open. And if he didn't, he's going to make sure he does, because he's continuing to go back to these right hands. And then Damien Priest throwing Orton into those steel steps. Damien Priest, happy with his work here. Orton needs to get back in the ring. Orton went for an RKO, I think, and Damien Priest counters it. What a slam. And if Orton hit the RKO on the outside, it would have been over. It 100% would have been done. But he didn't. He missed it. But Damien Priest has got the announce table set up here. Orton will throw him into it. Orton with a drop kick. Oh, and Damien, Damien Priest with a big spear. Where's Damien Priest going now? Slides back out. Into the table again goes Priest. Orton. Orton then getting struck. Damien Priest unla unloading these strikes. Still Damien Priest here. Connecting with everything he's got. Orton then into the announce table. Orton is in trouble here. The announcers are getting away. They know what's coming next. Damien Priest. Oh my god, what a set out Falcon Arrow. Priest takes to Orton. Orton's down. Orton's stunned. And Damien Priest here. He's got Orton at his mercy. If he gets Orton in the ring, he's got this one won. But Damien Priest taking his time. What's he doing? Orton throws the priest back in. Orton top rope. Oh, and another double axe handle from Randy. Drop kick from Orton. Orton belly to belly suplex on Damien Priest. Another drop kick from Orton. And Orton now is. On a roll, wait for a drop kick again. He missed that time though. And Priest has got Orton up. Oh, and he, he hits him with the finishing maneuver. 
And Orton could be in trouble here. David Priest trying to pull Orton into the middle of the ring. Oh, and Damien Priest beats Orton. I don't believe it. Damien Priest is beating Randy. And does that, I mean, does that put Damien Priest in contention for a title shot? Maybe. Maybe it does. This, and again, another disappointing match. So one and a half stars. And I'm sure Orton will be massively disappointed losing that. To, uh, to Damien Priest, but big win for Damien Priest. He needed a win, he's got a win. Up next, got a Liv Morgan self promo. Good promo, I think our popularity went up by two. You know what, we'll take it. It's not as good as I would have liked, but we'll take it. And in the main event, guys, it's going to be Becky Lynch taking on Sasha Banks. I'm always playing as Sasha Banks, so I think we'll go Becky Lynch for a change and we'll see if we can retain. The Raw Women's Championship with the man. The man, Becky Lynch. So, yeah, I mean, it's been a... I'm not going to lie, guys. It's been a lackluster SummerSlam so far. I've, I thought the matches have been okay. But ratings-wise, they haven't delivered. And we really... We need this match to deliver, if we're being completely honest. If this match does not deliver, uh, we could be in a lot of trouble. We could be in trouble based on just the, the overall show rating. And especially if SmackDown... Does a good show, then yeah, no, we could be in a a, a whole world of trouble because this rating I don't think is going to be good. Even if this match is five stars, it's just still overall it's not been a good night for us. It hasn't been. So even if this match is five stars, the overall show rating isn't even going to be that high. So we need these two women to deliver. We need Sasha Banks to deliver. We need Becky Lynch to deliver. I'm hoping they will. I'm praying that they will. But we'll see. We'll see tonight when they get in the ring, when the legit boss takes on the man. The man, Becky Lynch. For the Raw Women's Championship. Big upset tonight, though, in my opinion. Damien Priest defeating Randy Orton earlier. Uh, with wins for Goldberg over Austin Theory and Bobby Lashley over Booker T. I mean, those two matches pretty much went the way we expected it. But Damien Priest defeating Orton. I don't think many people have seen that coming. And who knows, maybe, maybe we'll even get a rematch on Raw between Priest and Randy Orton. Because I'm sure Randy Orton will not be happy losing to Damien Priest there. As he um, is, is set to get a match against Brock Lesnar. So we'll see. We'll see. But the Sasha Banks now awaiting her opponent, awaiting the champion. And here she is, here she comes. Big time Bex without her belt. Of course, belt is suspended above the ring, hanging there, waiting for one of these women to grab it. But who will be grabbing it? Will Becky Lynch grab it to retain? Or will Sasha Banks grab it to be crowned and the new women's champion? We will find it. There you go. Nice graphics there. Becky looks weird without her belt. I mean, she's held it for so long, it's not often you see her without that championship, but she doesn't have it tonight. We go celebrating hands in the air. Becky Lynch looking for success tonight. And that is it then, that's it. That's what it's all about. That belt there. Women's championship. Here we go, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, and this match is off, this match is underway, Sasha Banks coming at the, the gates, starting strong, trying to lay the smack down, trying to show who the boss really is, trying to show who's the boss of this women's division, who's the boss of this match, works on the army, Lynch off the road, and Sasha Banks wasting no time here. Gets Lynch down and goes straight for the ladder. Lynch then trying to get back to her feet here. Oh, she eats that steel ladder. And now Sasha Banks has got it. 
in a prime position there in the middle of the ring. That ladder is just waiting to be climbed. Ricky Lynch rolling through into a cover that won't get you nothing because you have to climb the ladder. Three counts, tap it, submissions won't do it in this match. Lynch still trying to figure a way back into this. And Sasha with a big spinning round uh, elbow and Sasha wasting no time going for yet another weapon. This time it's a steel chair. She's already got the ladder in the ring. Now she's got the steel chair. Oh, and she hits Sasha. Sasha Banks hits Becky with it. Now working on the leg of Becky Lynch. Oh, and then a shot to the back. Becky Lynch needs to try and go to there. Oh, and she eats a chair shot to the head. And then a shot to the leg. I mean, every part of her body is getting smashed with this steel here. Sasha Banks went absolutely crazy. And Becky Lynch nails Sasha Banks. Tries to buy herself a bit of time here. And Banks then climbing that ladder. Becky Lynch going to try and stop her from doing anything. She's attacking her from behind. And, oh, and there you go. Sasha Banks falling to the outside. Right, Becky Lynch then. Looking for a weapon, perhaps. Kendall stick time. Maybe. Banks is in there, though. Banks has got her hands on that belt. Becky Lynch so drops the Kendall stick. I think she's actually legit dropped it, the candlestick, then rolling towards the outside of the ring, which is no good. She's going to go and have to retrieve it. And she does. Oh, and she hits Sasha Banks as she was trying to get up the ladder. But Banks is back up. And again, she's back down. And now Becky looking for the candlestick once more. Oh, and a shot to the midsection. Goes for a, to the shot to the back. But Sasha Banks counters. The Kendall stick flies out the ring. Arm drag. Horikadrara into the ladder. Holy shit. What a manoeuvre that was. From Sasha Banks. Turning up the heat here on Becky. And now she's got a table. Table's in the ring. Oh, but <laughs> Sasha Banks gets again. Um, eats the, the ladder. For good trouble. Into the turnbuckle she goes. Sasha Banks fighting back though. Another big forearm. Jawbreaker. Sasha Banks downstairs again. Both these women <laughs> countering everything. Each other throws at them. Oh, as Banks goes into the turnbuckle. And now is Sasha Banks going. And maybe another weapon perhaps? Yes. Another fucking weapon, like, what is she doing here? Another steel chair. We know she's good with these steel chairs. Oh, but she eats the table. And the, the Sasha, I mean, Becky's trying to set this table up here. Didn't really, didn't really turn it the way she wanted it there, but can she now put Becky, or can Becky put Sasha in a bit of trouble? Becky, what's she going for? The Bex Exploder! Oh, and, and Sasha Banks goes through the table. Sasha Banks is down. And now Becky Lynch is climbing. She's trying to climb. Can't seem to get up there. So what's Becky Lynch going to do now? Going for the Disarmor? Maybe, but Banks is fighting her way out. Becky Lynch again goes for a big manoeuvre. Sasha Banks again fighting out of it. And Bex goes for the Bex bottom. She connects it again. And now this time can... What's Becky Lynch doing here? Why is she not fucking climbing? And now she does. After wasting way too much time. She's grabbed the belt. Becky Lynch almost there. Sasha Banks fighting though. Sasha Banks on top of this ladder. Bex now holding on, but Bex smashes Banks' face off the ladder. And now 
Becky Lynch could be going for a, a ladder suplex. Holy shit. Whoa, my God. She's fell to that side. She did. She's absolutely did. If Becky can get up and climb, she's got this one. Becky then climbs the ladder. Sasha Banks is down. Sasha Banks is out. Sasha Banks ain't getting up for that. There's no way. And that is it. Becky Lynch will retain. After a suplex from the top of the ladder to the outside of the ring. Almost killing the boss. But regaining the championship in the process. And we get a four star classic, so absolutely delighted with that. Huge win for Becky Lynch. And it's a good end to an average show, if I'm being completely honest. I don't even think you could call that show average. In terms of ratings, it was bad. Now we're about to see what they can do on the SmackDown side. I know for a fact, though, they will beat us. I mean, they kick off with a four and a half star classic. That's when you know you're in trouble. Uh, Brian Kendrick versus Ivar. Who's going to win this one? Ivar picks up a win. Three and a half stars. Again, really bad news for us. Nikki Ash now taking on Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose wins. Three stars. A mess self promo. And a tag team match to main event. Their side of the show. Don't think it will beat our match. Oh, it's four stars. It's done better than I thought it would. So there you go. I mean, if you look at that. Uh, they outperformed us in every match apart from the main event, so no surprise to see that. Um, I think they will beat us by quite a bit. In terms of fan change, we gained 153,000 fans, which is good. But it's uh, it's all about what SmackDown done. We've got a Health Spa reward card, Happy Days. What's SmackDown going to do? 216, so holy shit, we have been tanked. We have been absolutely slaughtered tonight. And the ratings proved that. And now, SmackDown are over 120,000 ahead of us. So, that is massive. We're going to have to try and claw it back week by week. Hopefully, we'll have uh, Brock Lesnar back for that. Up next, it's Extreme Rules. Liv Morgan is saying her friends want and family want to see her compete tonight. Okay, dokey, Liv Morgan. That's fair enough. Montez Ford's ready to tear up his contract and walk away. I'm not giving you a hunt. No, I'm not giving you a 100k bonus, Montez. No way. He's giving me one more chance. So, so Montez Ford threatened to leave, then decided that you know what, I'm going to stay. So yeah, strange there for Montez Ford. He was um, he was you know promising to leave, and then he thought you know what, fuck that, I can't leave. Nobody else wants me. But here, let's have a look then at the. Ro let's have a quick look at our roster, and then before we leave, we're going to have a look at potential signings. So. Let's um yeah, let's have a look at this. Free agents. What about legends actually? What legends could come back? I don't know if we want to bring any legends in just yet, but let's look at the free agents because there seems to be a few people that we could maybe sign here. Is there anybody that we'd be interested in, in bringing in? Um let's look then. Got T bar, you got Braun Strowman. Could potentially bring in Braun Strowman. I think we're actually, I think we might sign Braun Strowman, you know, give us an extra, an extra person on the roster. I think that's what we're going to do, so I think Braun Strowman might come to Raw, or do I just want, or do, I, or do we go with Ricochet? Well, I think we might go with Ricochet, he's too high in popularity, so we'll, we'll give Ricochet a signing. Uh, I don't know, are we going to bring in anybody else? I think we'll bring in Tony Storm. We haven't had Tony Storm. You know what? We'll give Tony Storm a chance as well. And that's two signings that we've made. And hopefully that will help us uh, pad out the roster a wee bit. As we try and make a comeback and catch Smackdown. And if we look at the journal. What have we got in here? What's Triple H's goal? Have at least one Extreme Rules match this week. I mean that can probably be done. If I'm being honest. We could maybe do a rematch between Orton and Damien Priest in the main event. That could be Extreme Rules. But we'll figure it out, guys, when we get to that, right? That will be next time out 
on the WWE 2K22 Raw GM mode. That was SummerSlam. Didn't go too well for us. We got tanked in the ratings, but we'll have to bounce back next time. Look at that, man. SmackDown pulling away again. We need to claw them back in. We need to use John Cena's motto. Never give up and see if we can catch Friday Night SmackDown. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you in the next one. But until then, peace.